Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be creating a to-do list application inside of React.js. The video outline will be provided down below, as well as the GitHub repo to this project. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video as this will help me post more videos in the future. So here's a quick demo before we actually get into coding. We have a header up here called my to-do list. Here's an input with a button. We'll be able to add items. So let's say take out the trash, add this new item, and it gets appended to our array of items. Say take the dog for a walk, add, wash the car. And then what you'll be able to do is click on this red button here to delete this item from your list like so all right now that you know what the plan is let's get started the first thing that we're going to do is create a new react app all right open up a terminal and navigate to your desktop next make sure that you have npm installed we can check this by doing npm dash dash version now we're going to use create react app to create this project npx create react app and then the name here, which is going to be to-do list. This might take a couple of minutes, so be patient. After it's installed, we can CD into that folder. Let's open this up in VS Code. And then we can close this terminal. And here, open up another terminal. Now type in npm run start. We're now going to remove stuff that we don't need. So first we're going to start in the public folder, remove this icon, remove this icon, that, that. Inside of manifest, we'll get rid of these icons and then go to index, remove these comments. Don't need this logo or this one. And then we can change our title here to to-do list. So that changes up there. And now let's go inside of source and we'll remove test. We don't need this. Don't need the logo. Report web vitals and set up test. Inside of app.css, you can delete everything below app. Go to app.js, don't need the logo. And get rid of everything inside of the div. We can also get rid of report web vitals. So now we have a blank React app right here. We're going to have three elements here. First is going to be our header. Next is going to be our inputs. And this is going to be the list of items. The input is going to have an input element and a button. And the list of items is going to be an unordered list with list items inside. For the header, we're just going to have an H1 element, to-do list app. We're going to create an input element. Inside of here, we'll have type equals text. Placeholder is going to be add an item. So we have this input here. And then right next to this, we're going to have a button. And inside of there, it's going to say add. We're going to hard code a unordered list of items. This is what's going to look like. Take out the trash. This is just to show you what it's going to look like. Now that we have that, we're going to use state from React. So import React from React, and then also use state hook. Go up to the top, and we're going to create a state hook section. Use state. Here we're going to have our new item and then this is going to be the setter function set new item initially this is going to be an empty string because nothing's going to be entered here and what we're going to do is we're going to have the value of this new item so as you can see right now it's blank but let's say initially I sent this to like to some random text it's going to show up there what we need to do now is create an on change function here that would take this event and then set new item to events.target.value. 
and that should update what's inside of here. So let's take a look. Yep, there's our input. Inside of this button, we're going to have an on click event that's going to call add item. Up here, we're going to have a section called helper functions. And our first function is going to be add item. And let's say for now, we're just going to print out what's inside of new item so that we know that something is getting updated there. All right, let's open up the console and see what happens when we press add item. So let's say testing. There we go. We have testing. There's our text from new item. The next thing that we're going to do is create an array that's going to hold all of these new items. Const items set items equals use state empty array initially. And inside of add item, we're going to create a new object, which is called item. And it's going to have an ID. This is just randomly generated. You can just copy this. Math.random times a thousand. So that's going to be the ID. That's how we're going to be able to sort this. And then our value is going to be this new item, which we get from the input. And what we're going to do is say set items using the setter function. Say set items. We're first going to have to get the old list, whatever is currently inside of that array. And we'll do everything inside of the old list plus this new item. And after we do that, we have to set new item back to the empty string that we had up here. Let's see what's inside of our items array. So do A. Right now it's nothing. There's A and then there's the ID. And don't worry, this is going to show up in real time, but we're just taking a look at what's inside of uh, this object. Another thing we can do before we add this item is make sure that there's something there. So we'll say if not new item, if nothing's there, we're going to say alert, enter an item, and then return. So if we try to add something that's not there, it says enter an item. Let's go down to our unordered list. And inside of here, we're going to get all of these items. Map gets each item. And we're going to return a list item. Li. And inside of here, our key is going to be item.key, which we get up from here, or item.id. And then inside of this, we're going to say item. Dot, what do we have? Value. So let's take a look at this. Do A. There's A, S. D. There is our items inside of this unordered list. Now the last thing that we have to do is to be able to delete these items. So we're going to create another function called delete item. We're going to pass in an ID to it and we'll get to that in a second. Right here we're going to say button. It's going to be this emoji and we'll say on click. This is going to be equal to delete item with this item ID. So let's call item ID and print out which ID is getting called. So let's say we want to delete this first one. It's going to have an ID of 85. This one has 649 and that has 589. So what we have to do for this delete item function, we have to first get our new array, which is going to be everything excluding that item ID. So we'll say items.filter take each item and check if this item ID does not equal to the ID that we passed in. We have this new array, and then we're going to call set items with this new array here, and that should update everything. So let's check this out. Do A, S, D, delete S, and there we go. Everything's working. That's pretty much what you have for a basic to-do list app. The next thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of CSS styling to this.
So open up app.css and inside of here, we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to get the input and add some padding to it. So let's say four pixels, make that a little bigger. And we're going to have a little space between the input and the add button. Margin right equals eight pixels. So now we have that space. And then unordered list, we'll say list style equals none so that we don't have these bullet points over here on the left and then we'll say list item margin 12 pixels and then zero that's going to give us space between all the items we're going to create a delete button on this delete button let's set a class name here to delete button copy this over and we're going to do a little styling on this we'll have margin left of eight pixels to give a little space border is going to be none color white border radius four pixels padding top and bottom is going to be both four pixels so there we go and now we can add a bunch of items here and then delete them now, what are some improvements we could make in this application? Well, first thing, maybe you wanna store your to-dos. You could use Firebase, AWS, some kind of like MySQL or NoSQL database to store all these items. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe as this will help me post more videos in the future. Have a nice day now.